Hey guys, today we're going to add button braids to this little uh, model. Um, he's a nice uh, warm blood stallion and unfortunately the braids were damaged in shipping. Um, you'll also notice his ears are a little messed up. They have already been pinned and so I'm going to be adding ears to it as well. But the main focus for this video will be how to add button braids or at least how I do it. Let's get started. Okay, so I've tried to zoom in to show you the mane. Um, what I like to do is start with some epoxy sculpt and um, I roll out a little thin line of it about following down the main line. Place that one there and I'm going to add some water so I can just kind of press it into the neck a little bit. And you just want to follow where the mane would be. Okay. Um, we're going to have the buttons lay on the left side for this model. Now you'll notice I had it so that the front is narrow, but it gets wider as it goes down. And that's just to follow how a natural mane would be. Obviously, the first part is gonna be the bridle path. And um, this model pretty much already has a bridle path. I'm just going to smooth it down and remove some of the excess because we won't be needing that right now. Okay. And all I've done is just dip my fingers in water so that I can smooth it down on either side and I'm pressing down and I'm also pressing to the side. Okay, and so now it kind of looks like I've given him a new top line. Okay, I've zoomed in a little bit closer, hopefully so that you can see um, very easily what I'm gonna do. Okay, I notice on this side I've got a little extra, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pinch that off. Okay. My favorite tool for doing any type of braids is uh, this kind of needle nose uh, tool. It's great for adding hair detail. Okay, so first thing, let's figure out where the bridal path would end. Um, usually it's about an ear's length back on the neck. Okay, and I'm just gonna flatten this part out completely because this would be the area that would be shaved. Okay. And all I'm doing on the side is just taking the clay and smoothing it out Okay, and so now I'm up to, on my neck, where I'm gonna put my first braid. This is where the longer hair of the horse starts. Let's smooth a little bit out there. Okay, so whenever you uh, braid the mane of a horse, you have the mane laying on this side, you pull the hair over, you braid it, and then you pull it up into a button. So what I'm gonna do is take my needle piece. And the first thing I'm going to do is separate where I want my braids to be. So I'm just pressing down into the clay so that you can see, so that I can see where I'm going to put my next braid. All the way down the neck. Okay, so the first one um, the hair is being pulled over that way, so I'm going to go ahead and add some hair detail. And I'm just scooping it over that way and that way. My second braid. Mm -hmm. 
you'll notice all I'm doing is just adding what looks like hair being pulled over to the side for each separate braid and I'm making sure that it's definitely defined each part is. So I'm going to do this all the way down the neck before I add any of the buttons. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I finished going all the way down the mane. I've separated them into individual braids. And now what I'm gonna do is take a little ball of epoxy sculpt and I'm gonna place it right on the end of the first braid. And this is gonna be pretty much the ball part of your braid. And from here, I'm going to add what looks like a braid mark, but basically just the um, plating pattern that you have from a braid. And I'm gonna separate it there a little bit and I'm gonna pull out this part and tighten it up on the sides. All right, and now you can see I have a little button braid. This is my first one, so I'm gonna go So we've got our braids in place all the way down and now I'm going to show you how I do the bridal path um, hair that's coming straight out of the main line when you cut it off it just sticks straight up so what I do is take my little needle um, tool and I just go straight up and down and it makes kind of like as you can see some little pits and that way it gives you a realistic look of having a bridal path. And that's it. Now you're done. And here is another look at the work done. You can see all the braids are in line on the horse. And of course the bridal path has been complete.